So we're given the following math problem. A data set of 27 different numbers has a mean of 33 and a median of 33. So the mean and the median are equal to each other. A new data set is created by adding 7 to each number in the original data sets that is greater than the median and subtracting 7 from each number in the original data sets that is less than the median. Which of the following measures does not have the same value in both the original and new data sets? So this is kind of hard to conceptualize because there's so many numbers. So I'm going to show you essentially the exact same situation, but just in simpler terms. So imagine this following data set. Three numbers, one, two, and three. Median is obviously two. But if you take the mean, that would be the sum of these numbers divided by three, you get a mean of two. Therefore, just like in the situation they described, the mean and the median are equal to each other. Therefore, we can do the same exact operation they did to the original data set and find out what happens. So that's going to be uh, subtracting 7 from 1, you get negative 6. And then adding 7 to 3, you get positive 10. And of course, you still have the same median of 2. Therefore, it can't be A. And the reason this is because the operation is, um, they directly say that the operation happens around the median within the question, so it can't be A. And if we were to take the mean, well, we already know that the mean is equal to 2 in this data set. And if we were to take the mean of this data set, that would be the sum of these numbers divided by 3. And since the sum of the numbers are equal, and you still have the same amount of numbers, the mean is the same. And again, if the sum of the numbers are equal, it can't be C. Therefore, just like logically speaking, the answer has to be D. Why is that? Well, D represents the amount of um, distance there is between the numbers relative to the mean. And in this situation, it's very easy to conceptualize because the median is equal to the mean. Therefore, we just have to find the difference between the numbers around the median. In the first set of numbers, it's very sh it's a very short distance. It's just going to be 2. But in the second uh, set of numbers, it's going to be a significantly longer distance, uh, which is 16. Therefore, the standard deviation is different across the data sets. Therefore, D has to be the correct answer. Again, this is not how the literal equation looks like. It's uh, just a very similar equation. And it functions exactly the same. Anyways, um, that's about it.